Hello, I'm Daniel. Uh, I grew up in a Christian family with parents who read the Bible to me and prayed with me each day, and that was really good. Uh, it didn't really mean a lot to me until I went to Sunday school, though, and a teacher um, repeatedly explained to us how uh, all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God, and that the punishment for sin is death, but through etern- we can have eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. And I thought, oh, I don't know if I've... I don't know if I've confessed my sins to God, so I did it just in case. Um, And that happened a few times. Uh, Nothing really changed in my life, though, until further on when I was sitting in church and the pastor said, anybody who needs to be saved, come up the front. And I thought, oh, that's okay. I don't need to embarrass myself. And then he said, oh, if you need to be baptised. I thought, oh, no, he's got me. And so that was a decision where I had to say, am I going to go, go God's way or my way? And I had to stand up in front of other people and make that commitment, which I did. So that was good. I'm really thankful for God being gracious to me in changing my heart to do that. And then as I got older and I went through um, life high school and then university, I looked around and I saw people that seemed to be having a really fun time doing things that the Bible says we really shouldn't be doing. And I thought, either I'm wrong, I've been brainwashed and I'm wasting my life and missing good opportunities, or they're wrong and actually I need to honour God. Um, and what really helped me was a lecturer at uni, we were studying biology, cellular biology, and he explained the really complicated process, how proteins form this massive process. If anything goes wrong, then the whole thing just collapses. And he got to the end and said, isn't it amazing the design that evolution's come up with? And I thought, that's, that's a contradiction. He just can't see it. And it really convinced me that God did make the world. And if he made the world, then he's got the right to rule it and tell us how we should live our lives. And actually, it's a much better way to live our life. And so I'm thankful because um, God has changed my life. He's been gracious to me. And uh, I'm really thankful to him for paying the price for my sin on that cross and bringing me to him. And that's something that he offers to everyone, no matter what your history or your background. uh, And I'd love for you to take that up for yourself.